Hi guys, it's Kate from The Nail Team. I'm just going to show you a really quick backfill on my own nails um, using foiling, matte and also a textured nail on my little pinky. Okay, so as you can see these have had a very quick infill and please ignore the shapes as this is like a super fast video as somebody has requested it. Um, my index finger is always an odd shape because that's the one I always file and they have been infilled a couple of times. I'm probably due a new set but I'm going to have to wait until after Christmas. So using um, my black halo gel polish, I'm just applying my first coat which is just a very thin layer making sure I'm capping around the sides. I'm going to apply this to each finger and tidy up as I go along. Making sure that we don't seep it into the cuticle area. Again, painting my own fingers. So it was really tricky trying to do this video today. Um, trying to make sure I was in shot, make sure in focus, and make sure I wasn't making a mess of my own nails. Uh, really tricky, as I was on my own doing it. As you can see, this black halo on the first, this is a very thin layer that I am applying on the first coat. Um, it's so highly pigmented that we're getting a real good coverage, even over the designs that were previous, previously there. Going to be brave and do my thumb at the same time, just for quickness. On a client, probably, I would definitely do the thumb separately. Especially with it being black, you want to make sure it's got a full cure in the lamp. Just tidy up, stick it in the lamp for the um, 30 seconds. I've actually just knocked it on the way into the lamp, so just top that up. <laughs> just trying to keep myself, get myself organised as well, you know, trying to do my own nails and video at the same time. So there's the foils which are available from the nail team and I've also got the nail team's super fine black glitter. I'm keeping this as a textured nail. I just want it all out and prepared on my desk so I can just, it's at a hand when I need it. This is Crystal Nails Cool Gel. It is a non-tacky layered top coat. So to do a textured nail, you need to make sure that you're using a a gel polish or a gel top coat that does not have a tacky layer it needs to be able to stick into that top coat so just applied some to my little finger and then i'm going to do my second coat of gel polish on my other fingers i've only done one coat of gel polish on my little finger just to give it a, a bit of a base color more than anything because the glitter is gonna is gonna be on top of it And just making sure we've got a full coverage with this layer. Everything is nice and tidy. There's no um, bits of fluff or anything in there. And then I'm going to pop this into the lamp. Um, first, before I pop it into the lamp, sorry, I will um, be putting the glitter into the wet layer of the gel top coat. I did forget, so I did reapply another layer of top coat and then put the glitter into it, as you can see in a second. It was just, I think my head was just a bit everywhere and I wasn't supposed to be in the salon, so I was trying to have a day off. As you can see, here we go. So I'm just sprinkling it on, making sure we've got a good coverage of glitter, all the sides, on the free edge, everywhere. And just tap off the excess into that wet layer of top coat. Okay, so this is going to go on to a fuel, full cure of 60 seconds. I'm going to tidy everything away while um, it's in the lamp, <clears throat> clean my desk up, etc. What I find is with a textured nail that sometimes you might need to double cure um, because the, the light needs to get through that glitter into that top coat um, and you don't want it peeling away. So with the foils, they do have like a powder coating at the back. So I'm just using my NSI Pure Plus uh, with a cotton pad and just cleaning, gently wiping it away. And when you're pressing, zoom in a little bit for you. When you're pressing it, press really firmly. You only want splatters of this colour on the nail. You still want to be able to see the black coming through. So as you can see, I'm using a lovely 
bright pink and a gorgeous blue and silver as well so i'm just tapping it into place but i'm pressing really hard and and whipping it off so the the color sticks to the nail it's a really really quick process but it's so effective it really is stunning i love it okay happy with that i'm just going to pop them into the lamp just to make sure that everything's secure in place and then i'm going to use my halo non-wipe matte top coat i'm going to give it a nice coverage making sure i've got the whole entire nail I found the best way to apply this is to almost glide it onto the nail rather than using it as a brush because you don't want to have to have, you know, the you don't want to see the lines of the brush once you once it's cured. So just nice and, and gently applying that top coat. And put it into the lamp and then obviously when it comes out, I'll do the thumb separately this time and when it comes out it will be matte. These are not my usual type of nails that I would wear, but um, I'm looking at them now and they are absolutely stunning. See how beautiful they are in matte and especially with that lovely glittered textured nail next door to it. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave the comments below. That's great. Thank you.